Hey y'all, Ram Dino here, coming at you again for another Appalachian Trail through hiker update and trail information about what's going on with the Appalachian Trail. So thanks a lot for y'all bearing with me. I did not do an update this past week because I was in Poland working with Ukrainian refugees there and so just did not have the time I chose rather than spending my time on YouTube videos to spend my time with those refugees and I feel like that was time very well spent. They needed uh, time spent with him and that's what we went to do to go over there. So appreciate you understanding that I've also had two weeks of folks pushing me their update. So thanks a lot for that folks if I missed you or left you out in this update I apologize and uh, Continue to send me those updates. I'll do my very best to make sure we get you every time So let's go ahead and talk about who is out there on the trail. What's going on out there? So we got Lolly and Pops. They have started their hike on Friday April 7th and they were numbers 3,035 and 3,036 from Amicola Falls State Park. Now, they actually hiked in 2019, did not complete their hike, so they are starting over again. They are working with, they're one of the RV type of people out there who are flip-flopping back and forth with the RV in their car. Uh, so there's kind of a leapfrog method that we've got several folks that are doing that this year. So they're trying that. You may have remembered their name. They were hiking with Try Try who also hiked then, and so they are out there trying again, and they are somewhere on their way to Dick's Creek Gap. At foot, he is currently subo somewhere uh, mile 1254, 1254 south of the pinnacle. Uh, Letterman, he has hit the 800 mile mark this week, so congratulations to him. Where he's at, he says the water is either scarce or plentiful, one or the other. <laughs> Uh, Alias is in Waynesboro at the southern end of the Shenandoahs. He hiked through the freezing rain a few days ago. He says his hands were so cold he couldn't eat or filter water. Uh, he did about 21.8 miles with uh, 5,800 feet of gain uh, on about two bars. So, uh, and a 12 ounce Coke someone had left uh, in a one liter bottle of water. So he's pretty exhausted, but uh, he took a few days off and uh, to do a zero, and now he's back up to snuff, and he is heading on north. So uh, while I was away, you guys had a huge storm move through, a lot of cold weather out there. So I did see that on some feeds while I was over there in Poland, did have access to the Internet. And so I was thinking about you guys whenever I saw that out there. Uh, Bricks, he's completed the VA, uh, the Virginia Triple Crown. He's going to be in uh, Shenandoah's now. Uh, he says the weather during the cripple, triple, cripple, <laughs> sometimes it can be a cripple, right? The weather in the triple crown, he says, was all over the place. And he said in three days it went from sunny in 73 to cold and rainy with a wintry mix to frigid and windy. Uh, he said the wind chills when he hit Tinker Cliffs was 28 degrees. He also says weather has been colder longer this year. So, and that was a question I had for y'all. Leave a comment down below if y'all feel like it has been abnormally cold uh, for you this year. Georgia, she's back on trail. She's hiking with sticky buns, and they should be on the other side north of Roan Mountain. Uh, she did mention that uh, trail angel Miss Janet, uh, she is in need of some tires for her van. So, apparently... Uh, Georgia saw that her tires need a new van. Miss Janet, of course, is a trail angel, and she goes up and down the trail much like fresh ground. Uh, I don't know that she does a lot of feeding. She does provide some uh, resupply and stuff out of her van, giving uh, rides to people and stuff. Doesn't charge them for that right now, so she is supported by the hiker community to do that, and she's had to purchase one set, uh, some tires already, and she's also had to purchase a windshield and a radiator. So she's putting hundreds of miles on that van, uh, sometimes in a day. And so that takes its toll. So she does need a little bit of help. I will leave her Venmo link right here so you can scan that and you can go and donate to her. I'll all, and then also this is her website here or rather her Facebook page. You can go there and donate. And then I'll leave a link to her, her Facebook page down below. So the best thing to do is scan this Venmo link and let's help out uh, Trail Angel Miss Janet out there. Aquaman, he is around the Smokies. Uh, and I may have another update for him coming up. I'm not sure a little later on here. Uh, Gazelle, Humes, and Checklist, m, m they are somewhere around the Shenandoahs. Florida Flats and Maytag have crossed into Virginia, and they've made it to Damascus. Bugs is heading towards Hampton, uh, Tennessee. Boogie Owen has passed the 100-mile mark, so congratulations to her. That is on her Roxylvania, uh, or she's in Roxylvania. That's on her Nobo flip-flop. Um, Blaze Dog, he is north of the Shenandoahs. 
KG, who is new to our support list, started on February 22nd and is north of Delville. Lazarus is north of Delville. He says that the area around him and the hikers seems to be thinning out more because there's more space and shelters. Uh, he's been the only hike, hiker at a few shelters this past week. Uh, radioactive left Front War Royal, and he is past Harper's Ferry, owner to Duncan, Pennsylvania, where he says Miss Radioactive is going to be picking him up, and he'll be taking a, a few zeros off trail for some R and R. Mischief, he has gotten back his new prosthetic, so congrats to him, and he is back on trail in Marion, and has made it past the Quarterway Tree. The breeze is around Kent, uh, Connecticut. Groceries, a little chap, Roadrunner, Cheese Bowl, Two Before, Fox. They are now a Tramley. They are through Grayson Highlands, and they are around the Marion area. Little chap says the crowds have definitely thinned a lot. Says for the past few weeks, they've seen a few others on trail while hiking and less than a dozen at shelter areas. So he says it looks like the bubble is spread out, and that's kind of the norm now at, at this duration after the beginning of the hiker, no bow hiker season. It Not only do people drop off so the bubble gets smaller, it gets more spread out as people are spreading out. So right now, my best guess is the bubble is somewhere north of Damascus, somewhere around uh, central Virginia, maybe coming into uh, the Triple Crown area. Half mile, he is just past 900 miles. Professor K has made it 135 miles on his Nobo flip-flop, but he got a terrible sprained ankle, so he is off for a few days. Uh, Gaia is north of Duncannon, uh, the Peters, Mil Peters Mountain Shelter Privy. She said is full to the rim of the seat, and that's not the only privy. We'll talk about those that crappy subject here in just a minute. Papa Bear's in Damascus. He says the crowds have thinned. Dandelion is tackling the Triple Crown this weekend. Says the water sources have been pretty accurate on Gut Hooks. So of course Gut Hooks is the far out app now, and if you'll go to that, she says that those water source comments on there have been pretty pretty accurate. Lost Johnny Trippy World Record in Fireball there in the Parisburg area. And, uh, of course, the climb up from the Chestnut Knob uh, shelter there, that all that climb up from there into Parisburg is a known area for being dry any time of year, but particularly this time of year. The nation's is trouble. They have started their through hike, and they should be somewhere around the North Carolina line. Marari, she should be in Hot Springs or perhaps on a little north. Patriot and True Blue, they made it to Parisburg and are pushing north. Crossword, he's made it to Pine Grove Furnace on his flip-flop. Energizer stepped off at Amicola Falls State Park for a late no-bow start. And uh, as I indicated before, I had another update on Aquaman on his Sobo trip. He is south of the knock, which means he probably only has about 10 days left on his through hike, and that may be more days than he needs. Uh, Lazarus, now remember, he's our first Sobo hiker, and so, uh, you know, it's this time of year. He's doing big miles out there, so he is getting close to being to the southern terminus down at Springer Mountain. Don't know if he's gonna do the approach trail uh, down to the arch or not. Be interesting to see. Aquaman, if you're out there, let us know in the comments or let, let me know by email. Lazarus has made it to the James River footbridge today and will zero tomorrow there in Lynchburg. Said he had a close encounter with an old rattler. And the reason he knew it was an old rattler is cause it had, I think he said 13 or 14 layers of rattler, rattles on it. So. The more layers of rattles you have, the older it is, kind of like growth rings on a tree. Um, so, um, but anyway, fortunately, he saw the rattler first before it saw him. Blaze Dogs hit a thousand miles and shows up, who is his support wife, says that the Shannons were poorly staffed with few employees and rangers. So they went through there. And she said there was even people camped out at overlooks in RVs, which is a no-no through there. Not a lot of people. They didn't see any rangers through the campsite or anywhere. She even had trouble getting somebody to wait on her at one of the uh, waysides there to get a Gatorade or something. So uh, I don't. There, there was one person there taking up fees at the gate. So not exactly sure what's going on in the shanties. Why they're so uh, modestly staffed, we'll say. Uh, catch up in his tramley also known as the Wolf Pack, have made it to Irwin. And the Wolf Pack consists of Papa Bear, Green Bean, Helium, Achilles, Koozie, Sea Pup, and Ketchup. Spider is around Parisburg, Virginia, and her sunburn has healed up well. She's got her sun gloves on, so she is putting in the miles. Hugh and Carrie, they decide to turn their through hike into a section hike due to some knee issues that Carrie had, so 
there kind of back and forth visiting some folks around there and back and forth to the trail. Bricks is heading into Shenandoah National Park. Syrup and Airbag, they should be somewhere around Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Billy Goat is north of Paris, uh, excuse me, the Partnership Shelter where he had some pizza delivered there. Secretary is up and over and beyond Mount Washington and into the whites, well into him. So he said the wind chills on his summit day when he summited Mount Washington were minus three degrees and he was post holing on the north side of the Kinsman. But on the other side of the Kinsman, he said that uh, it was uh, kind of a glaze over enough where micro spikes were good enough for him. So he's really been hitting some cold weather up there. Rogue had a run in with five bears trying to get into his bag south of the knock there at the Cold Spring Gap uh, area. So keep that in mind with those bear reports. Sunshine and Mako, they are through the Triple Crown. And this just in, Outback, he has made it to Delaware, Delaware Water Gap on his Eastern Continental Trail. Of course, he's on the AT Treadway now, and he is uh, into New Jersey. I asked him, what are you going to do if you hint Baxter before they open Katahdin because with his big miles he's putting in, that is a real thing that could happen. Right now he's back in Colorado. I believe he's attending a wedding for somebody or some family or something, but he's going to be getting back on the trail and then really kicking in a, a, the high gear. Uh, he feels like he's going to hit Baxter somewhere around the end of the first week in June. So that it may be open when he gets up there. As you know, Baxter kind of has a target date of June 1st for opening the hunt trail system up to uh, Katahdin, but that doesn't always take place. It could be a little longer, could be a little earlier. You just It's just kind of a roll of the dice when you get there. So uh, we'll see what happens there for Outback. So some other bear reports we got. There have been multiple sightings of bears at the Shaker campsite, which is Nobo Mile 1,543, including a mother and cubs. Do not get between a mother and her cubs. So if you see the cubs, you better start looking for the mama and make sure you're not between them. Uh, there's also bear cautions have been put into effect at the Tri-Corner uh, Knob Shelter there at mile 223 in the Great, Sm Great Smoky Mountains National Park. They said bears are active and hungry, so take care there storing your food. Uh, all of those there in the Smokies have cables for you to store your food on, and I would also suggest particularly this far north because your packs probably stink by now. I would go ahead and hang those on the cables as well. Some trail news we got out there. Of course, Trail Days is coming up May 13th through the 15th. That's just a few weekends away. I spoke with Tuesday there at the town. She's kind of the administrator over Trail Days, kind of ramrods that for them. And she said, everything's back to normal. No, pro no COVID protocols. So that is awesome to hear that. So the hiker parade, big thing that we missed last year. It's kind of an impromptu parade but now we'll have a full-fledged parade so if you're going there and you don't intend on being a parade bring your water pistols let's give them a good soaking because i know by that by the time they get to damascus them through hikers stink once again uh and then i'll be there i'll be down the family campground which is down there at the baseball field i say it's a family campground it's not back in the woods up there with riffraff and those folks those folks are have a good time and up there uh, but I'll be where it's just a tad bit quieter family campground, but you can have your adult beverages up there. And so I prefer uh, Michelob low carb. However, I'll take a PBR any day of the week. So just saying, that's all I'm going to say about that. And then uh, some more trail news. Energizer, uh, who started down at Amicola Falls State Park, he's the last one to start that I'm aware of. Uh, or the latest one, he's number bag tag 3,153. So he said the park rangers told him that the AT or C representatives have just left the park, so they're no longer there. So they have a limited number of bag tags left as of when uh, he started. He had They said they had a 150, and after that, if anybody else starts, they will not be giving out any bag tags. So you would have to get that when you get to Harper's Ferry. You still can register. Uh, they're not doing pack weights either when you get down there, so just keep all that in mind. The Amicola Falls State Park, uh, the visitor center is shut down, and probably by now is demoed. It's gone. There's nothing there but a scorched earth, uh, and that's because they are rebuilding it. So they have set up shop in a, uh, in a trailer nearby. Uh, Pilgrim, a section hiker in Georgia, he said the privies are topped out due to all the traffic, 
and that was my experience when I started down there with Disco and Come Along. Uh, they were uh, the, the privy there. It's the privy before uh, Hawk Mountain Shelter. I can't remember the name of it. It's a shelter before that. Uh, anyway, that one was like full to the bottom of the, the floorboards or filled the floorboards on that. So they are filling up. And then even up in Duncan, Dun I had another hiker say the privies are full to the seat up there so and, and the main bubble has not even come through and then the atc has put out a notice that the priest shelter privy is closed due to it's at their capacity so lots of others i'm sure are in the same uh situation uh hikers up there for whatever reason this year i've never heard so many privy uh issues going on so i don't know if everybody's just this group's a lot more or they're a lot more full of crap, or they're not getting clean, or what it is. So, uh, but in any case, what are you guys eating out there? That's all I got to say. And then the dead hiker that was found on the Bent Mackay Trail there uh, near Springer on the AT, uh, he was ID'd uh, with help from the public. Uh, there was no info available about the cause of his death, but they do know who he was and where his family was and everything else. So, don't know if you had anything to do with that, but if you did, then and you see this, thanks a lot for reaching out to those folks out there. The Washington Monument up in Maryland is going to be closed due to road work on the way up to it is being redone, but the AT trail through there is closed. Uh, it's still worth a hike up to the monument there to see that, even if you can't go up in it. Uh, when Come Along and I did that section, Sobo through there from Pennsylvania down into Bears Den, uh, hostel. We, we came through the Washington Monument and it was closed due to COVID, but locked up. But it's still worth it to, just to see it. So I would still recommend you come up there. And believe it or not, the ATC headquarters and Harper's Ferry have got their mold and allergen and other crap cleaned up. And that deep cleaning they were doing that took them months to do, it's done and they are open. So they're open for business. Well, I say they're open for business. Uh, they actually opened up for business. All of the employees came in, and then as soon as the CEO and president came in, they determined there was too much BS there, and so they had to do another deep cleaning. So they are expected to open back up on the 12th of never. So just keep that in mind when you go up there. And then some silly updates from the trail, uh, from the updates from the ATC. So they have, ATC has put out a warning about a trail flooding in Massachusetts, and they have given you advice on how to avoid getting your feet wet. So I think that's important if you're on AT not to have feet wet, and since that's the only place you're going to get your feet wet is through the flooded area, I am so glad they have put that out and let you know, giving you that detour so you don't get your feet wet up there. And there's also a detour at Kent, Connecticut due to a bridge being damaged, so they have provided another detour for that. They did not indicate that detour was to prevent you from getting your feet wet. So, you know, if you're, if you're not worried about getting your feet wet, don't worry about that detour there at Kent, Connecticut. Uh, I don't know, after you've left your uh, second rainstorm in Georgia, I don't know that you're really concerned about getting your feet wet. Maybe even before you leave... Uh, even hit your first one, first no, uh, rainstorm down there. So anyway, folks, ATC's helping you. Once again, they're helping you to the max, not get your feet wet. And then some channel news. Obviously, I'm back from my Poland mission trip. This ain't the woods in Poland. This is the woods back in North Carolina in my home. And uh, I will have a video coming out about that, uh, about my trip. I uh, hope you'll be, stay tuned and uh, and enjoy that. I want to thank everybody for your prayers that prayed for me and for your kind wishes and attaboys and everything you did to uh, just mentally help me with that trip. I can tell you it was the toughest mission trip I have ever been on my life uh, emotionally, and I have been on a lot of mission trips. So stay tuned for that. I hope it'll be a good one for you, and uh, appreciate everybody pushing me those uh, those updates that you did. Please continue to do so. If you're a new hiker out there, and we tend to kind of get new ones every day, uh, then please send me that. We'll put you on that list, and, uh, and we'll look forward to your update everywhere. Folks, that's all I got this week. As always, appreciate you, and we'll see you out here.